Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, in today's video we're gonna travel again through time because I want to show you the similarities that we have from the bull market of 2013 and the actual price action, the actual bull market in that we are in right now. So that's why I have to show you that my friends, we have covered that in several videos as well. But the more time passes, the more likelier it is that we're going to repeat something similar like we, we did in 2013. And that's why today we're going to travel again back in time and check what are the same things that are happening right now with this price action that we are seeing right now with the ones in 2013. And before we start, just a little reminder, if you are trading over on a Bybit with leverage, currently you can get up to $1,000 in bonus if you sign up to Bybit with my refer link down below and of course also go to this bonus claim website where you can get this $1,000 in bonus if you put a deposit of two Bitcoin. So the first thing what you need to do is make a new account with my referral and then of course also claim this $1,000 if you put a deposit here on Bybit and also if you're interested in trading bots then definitely check out Bitscap. They are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. So go and take it. You find my link down below here to get this free trial for the trading bots. Here you don't have to put a deposit, nothing. Just connect your exchanges like Coinbase, Kraken, Binance like I did and so on and then you can let run the trading bot for you here on your exchanges so very very useful and very profitable so you can see also here i'm running these bots here for more than one week and uh, depending on your pair and of course also on the gains of those pairs uh, you can make more and also less profits uh, depending on the pair here with those nice trading bots over on Git on bitscap so definitely go and check them out my friends and now let's go over to the spot chart and before we're gonna start with the TA uh, I just want to remind you that the CMEs are closed now and they closed here at $50,560 so wherever we are going during the weekend most of the times on Monday we are retracing back to these price level so just keep that in mind of course we still have this CME gap up here to $62,000 that still didn't get filled so keep that in mind and um, yeah now before we start with the actual price action let's go back in time my friend so let's go back in 2013 because it's just really amazing how the price action is similar to the price action that we are seeing right now and therefore let's go back in time sorry for the messy charts but yeah let's start with this so what we are seeing here was the first local top in 2013 262 dollars before then we completely started to go parabolic here after this prolonged correction phase so I told you that I compared this bull market to the bull market of 2013 because we had the same uh, parabolic moves to the upside like we did also now since 2020 and also if we have a look here into the logarithmic growth curves you can see that we topped out right now at around $65,000 in the same Fibonacci uh, retracement level from this growth curve so the last one before entering into this red zone so keep this Fibonacci retracement line here in mind just the last line before we entered into this red zone because here in 2013 we also topped out right here before then we started this correction phase into the yellow zone and, um, and then we started our parabolic move towards the red zone here so that's why I told you my friends I'm expecting something very similar that maybe during the summer until autumn we're gonna see something similar like this and then towards the end of the year we're gonna start to go completely stratospheric towards completely new levels 
Um, yeah, so if we're gonna repeat the exact same thing, and in my opinion, there is a very high chance that we could do so because the price action that we're seeing right now is very, very similar. So if we're gonna remove now these uh, logarithmic growth curves and have a look where we corrected after the top here, you can see that we came back down to the 100 daily moving average. We had a couple of weeks that exactly touched this moving average. We even, uh, when, we even went a little bit below. And if we go over into the weekly time frame, you can see that also here with this correction, this initial correction after topping out, um, came right at the 20 weekly moving average. So here you can see that we came very, very close to it. It was here at around $44. And we stopped here, well, actually with the first week, we came to the $44 uh, level. Then with the second week, we came to the $50 level. So very close to the 20 weekly moving average. Before then we had here a bull trap. We had here a nice bounce to the upside. And if we do here a Fibonacci um, measurement, so if we do a Fibonacci retracement from the top that we had here of around 263, dollars and the bottom here of 44 dollars you can see that with this bull trap or with this breeder after bottoming out here at the 100 daily or 20 weekly moving average we came up here to the 0.786 fibonacci retracement at 180 dollars and after topping out here at this price level we started this uh, prolonged correction phase which ended up in testing this 200 daily moving average we even dipped a couple of times below this moving average but at the end we started then this parabolic rise up towards our ultimate cycle top of around 1160 dollars so with this bounce that we had here after bottoming out here at the 100 daily moving average, you can see that we came exactly up here to the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement. And in order to see continuation to the upside and don't have a confirmed reversal here, we should have gone here at least above the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement and then of course attack here the all time high and create new all time highs. But since we got rejected here at the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement, that was our confirmation that we have right now a lower high and we potentially could start a prolonged correction or even a bear market. And now my friends, if we compare this price action that we are seeing right now to the actual price action that we are having right now. So let's go back to the actual price action and uh, here, by the way, since we are now traveling through time, remember we did in 2020 a Fibonacci extension measurement on the log scale based on the all time high of $20,000 and the bottom of $3,000. And remember what results we got when we had a look into the next Fibonacci extension levels. At that time, um, we just started our uh, bull run after the halving, but we didn't know where we are heading to. And that's why we did this Fibonacci extension measurement. If you remember, especially for the ones that are subscribed to my channel since uh, many weeks and months already, we did this Fibonacci extension measurement. And guess what? The first 1.618 Fibonacci extension level was exactly here at $62,000. And at that time, I told you, my friends, I'm pretty confident that at this price level, we're gonna have some volatility coming up that most likely here we could get a local top or at least some resistance if we're gonna straight go towards this price level. And this is exactly what is happening right now. We had the pie cycle indicator flashing exactly at $62,000. So very interesting that this is perfectly now coinciding with the problems and the potential local top that we are getting right now at this price level. And just to give you a small outlook and a little bit of candy where we could be heading to next after breaking this 1.618 Fibonacci extension level and where maybe our real cycle top for this bull market will be, then check out here the 2.618 Fibonacci extension level $400,000. So we don't gonna have to analyze this price level right now. Just keep that in mind that based on the Fibonacci extension levels after $62,000 comes $400,000.
dollars. But in this video, I don't want to talk about this potential cycle top target. In today's video, we're going to analyze what is going on right now with this dump that we are seeing and what we could expect here in the not so distant future, especially if here we are getting a local bottom and we could see here a nice big bounce and breather to the upside. So what I did here is I did exactly the same thing, a Fibonacci retracement from the top here of $65,000 and the potential local bottom here of around $48,000. You can see that we are also here very close at the 100 daily moving average. We even dipped below yesterday, but I told you the most important thing is right now to close daily candles above the 100 daily moving average exactly at $49,500 in order to have a potential bounce here, a potential local bottom, and then maybe have a bounce to the upside, similar like we did also in 2013. So if we would bounce exactly to the same level where we bounced also in 2013, this would bring us up here to the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement at $60,700. So more or less at around $61,000 where also our potential new resistance is lining up based on this rising wedge that we had previously and that not only would confirm this new resistance but this would also lead into a lower high in the daily time frame and that of course could signal that we are in for a prolonged correction phase similar like in 2013 before then we are going stratospheric towards our real cycle top which in my opinion could be maybe at around four hundred thousand dollars and why I also believe that this could be now a local bottom is, of course, because the 20 weekly moving average is very close to us now. And by next week, it will be higher. So approximately at around 46 to $47,000. And I think latest here, we're going to see a bounce to the upside, at least a breather. And then we're going to see what will happen once we're going to reach here the 0 0.786 Fibonacci retracement. And of course, at the same time, test also this resistance level. I think it would be denied the same scenario if we are able to push higher. So if we are able to go back into this rising wedge and go up here to test the resistance currently at around $70,000, then I'm pretty confident that that scenario is denied and we're going to head towards a new all-time highs very soon and potentially we're not getting another bigger uh, correction phase and we're gonna go straight towards new levels without any further correction but if here we're getting a bounce and we're gonna stop here at the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement or maybe already here at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement at $57,000 because this also acted previously as a strong resistance and support level then I think this is a confirmed lower high in the daily time frame, and that of course could lead into a correction phase, maybe a prolonged one during the summer, and then towards the end of the year, maybe already in autumn, we gear up again towards uh, new all-time highs, but until then, we may be just gonna see Bitcoin go sideways or a bit more lower towards the 200 daily moving average, which currently at the time of recording is here at around $35,000. So here for the short to midterm, in my opinion, we're going to see this breeder to the upside in the daily time frame. Everything is suggesting that we could repeat something similar like in 2013. Also, the RSI and my own indicator is getting very oversold. And as soon as here we are getting a buy signal, this will be, in my opinion, a powerful one, which will take us again towards uh, 57 to 60 thousand dollars and then we're going to see what will happen and also if we go over into the four hour time frame you can see that we have a bullish divergence here you can see a low and a higher low in the rsi and in the price action we have here this low and a lower low so this is a bullish divergence and that's why here we should expect a bounce pretty soon there is a high chance that we're coming back down to test again this 48k area maybe even drop down to the 20 weekly moving average at around 44k that's even possible but at the end i'm pretty confident that this bullish divergence here in the lower time frames will play out and we most likely are heading then up here towards this fifty-seven thousand dollars, where the 200 moving average is lining up in the four hour time frame and maybe even have some weeks towards sixty thousand dollars to this important fibonacci retracement level here 
So let me know in the comment section, my friends, what do you think? Are we gonna see this breather to the upside incoming or do we just come down towards the 20 weekly moving average at 44K and maybe even lower? So let me know what are your thoughts. In my opinion, there is a very high chance that we're gonna see this nice breather towards 57 to 61K and repeat something similar like we did in 2013. And uh, since now we have covered Bitcoin, let's go over to Ethereum because Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish in my opinion. We are still trending to the upside here in the four hour time frame, even though we had now this correction, but we didn't lost the significance moving averages like here, the 200 moving average in the four hour at $2,060. So I think as long as we are above $2,000 in Ethereum, uh, we should be still gearing up towards a new all time highs. You can also see that we are kind in this channel here in the daily time frame with the main support down here at around $1,850 and the resistance currently of $2,700. So as long as we're closing daily candles above the 20 daily moving average, so above $2,250, I'm pretty confident that we could see here a nice bounce to the upside and go towards new all-time highs pretty soon. So the next potential new all-time high could be up here at around $2,740 before maybe then we get another rejection. But if Bitcoin is able to get a nice breather to towards 60k again i think that also ethereum will profit a lot here from this breather and definitely will head towards new all-time highs so ethereum currently still looking way more bullish at least here the chart than bitcoin so if bitcoin is able to get such a breather i am pretty bullish for many altcoins especially here for ethereum and another good thing is that the DXY is still falling. Uh, we closed here at $90.80. So for now, we didn't got this nice bounce here at the 100 daily moving average. So if the DXY is starting again to plunge here below the 100 daily moving average, uh, because there is no more moving averages uh, below of us, uh, the, the chance is very high that we continue to go lower here towards $90 and latest here then I'm expecting a bounce from this ascending broadening wedge but if also this support will not hold then um, goodbye DXY and uh, this would be very bullish for the stock market and of course also for the crypto market and also looking here at Nasdaq you can see that uh, we bounced here at the 20 daily moving average and I'm also pretty bullish here for Nasdaq I think if here we are able to create new all-time highs uh, the target is still up here at around fifteen thousand dollars and that of course would be also very much in favor for the bitcoin price um, that's why i think this breather will come here towards sixty one thousand dollars the top um, but if we are able to go higher then this uh, bearish scenario is denied then in my opinion we go straight towards new all-time highs and continue our bull market but uh, of course we have to keep an eye here between uh, fifty seven thousand and sixty one thousand dollars if here we're getting a, a lower high and uh, a local top again and we start again to go lower, I think uh, we could repeat something like in 2013 and then you should be prepared that we're gonna see uh, Bitcoin just move sideways or maybe even drop lower uh, until then we're starting again our parabolic phase uh, towards a new all-time highs. All right, my friends, I think with that said, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. Also check out all my referral links down below here to all the recommended exchanges that I'm also using. With the most of them, you can get also some extra money and some bonus as well. And also big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on Discord. Uh, if you want to join our crypto community here, then make sure to use the official link here in the description. Once you have clicked it, you have to go here to read first and then press this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, uh, then you can get a YouTube membership directly here or you can contact me on Discord directly because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the live stream indicator. And also if you want to follow me in my other channels, for example, over on DTube or on the Twitch, then make sure to join me also over there. All my other channels you find also down below here in the description. So thank you again very much for watching my friends. Enjoy your weekend and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.